Error. Multiple files found. Please contact the system administrator. Accessing file 1. RWX2R 0001 1KB January 1st 1970 SCP-001 Hated Caesar. Item number. SCP-001 Object class. Keter. Threat level. Black. Special Containment Procedures An SCP-001 containment breach constitutes the initiation of a UZ-class Grey Goose scenario and the immediate redesignation of the anomaly as a Polyan class. SCP-001 is contained in its specialized containment chamber at Site-01. This containment chamber must be kept structurally sound at all times. No entryways are to be added to the containment chamber, nor are any exit ones to be opened under any circumstances. No items, objects, and or personnel are to be introduced into SCP-001's containment chamber under any circumstances. No items, objects, and or personnel introduced to SCP-001's containment chamber are to be retrieved under any circumstances. Any personnel attempting to retrieve any items, objects, and or personnel from SCP-001's containment chamber are to be immediately terminated, regardless of any and all former positions, accolades, and or privileges as a member of the Foundation. Any personnel suspected of planning an attempt to retrieve any items, objects, and or personnel from SCP-001's containment chamber are to be immediately detained and removed from Site-01, with all privileges suspended pending further investigation. Description SCP-001 are the animate, deceased cadavers of a human. All SCP-001 instances are superficially undergoing advanced putrefaction. No loss of mass has been observed for any SCP-001 instances, nor has shed mass built up within the containment chamber. SCP-001 instances roam their containment chamber in a manner mimicking the behaviors of a standard, living human. SCP-001 instances interact with their environment anachronistically. They are capable of passing through any region of space that has, is, or, theoretically, will be unoccupied, regardless of whether or not the space is currently occupied. For example, if a door occupying a doorway is opened at any point in time, past, present, or future, SCP-001 instances are capable of passing through the doorway at any point in time regardless of whether the door is open or closed. This property effectively enables SCP-001 instances to pass through any solid matter they predate or outlast. SCP-001 instances constantly and erratically duplicate themselves, typically when performing tasks with multiple possible outcomes. SCP-001 instances are also capable of recombining, and will do so, when two or more instances perform identical actions. The anomalous properties of SCP-001 manifested when the individual was assassinated by an unidentified military group shortly prior to the formation of the Foundation. The Founding High Command was successful in containing SCP-001 within its childhood bedroom before the anomaly replicated, enabling successful containment. It's noted that SCP-001's bedroom is the only exit structure that predates SCP-001, thus it's the only location capable of containing it. Accessing File 2. RWX2R-0001-1KB, January 1, 1970, SCP-001. Overlord Censure. Item number, 001. Containment class, Euclid. Disruption class, Vlam. Risk class, Notice. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-001 is to be contained in a standard humanoid cell at Site-01. SCP-001 is to be given a standard humanoid meal regimen. Containment personnel are not authorized to communicate with SCP-001 beyond basic humanoid containment parameters without express permission from the Overseer Council. Description. SCP-001 is a human who exhibits varying temporal properties. SCP-001 will only respond positively if referred to by Foundation personnel, as the founder of the Foundation. Note that SCP-001 was not a member of the Founding Overseer Council. If referred to by its SCP designation, SCP-001 will become irritated and will refuse to speak to offending personnel indefinitely. To date, SCP-001 has never forgotten an infringement. SCP-001 is immortal, and does not age. Although SCP-001 can be physically damaged and will heal at an appropriate rate for a mundane human, its longevity enables it to recover from more severe injuries, if given sufficient time to do so. SCP-001 is capable of accurately and precisely predicting future events. It is currently believed that SCP-001 is not inducing these events to occur. All events described by SCP-001 have, at the time of description, inevitably become impossible to avert or alter. SCP-001 supports the containment and analysis of anomalous phenomena, but insists that it must be released from containment or allowed to construct a device of unclear function. SCP-001 refuses to allow the mentioned device to be constructed by any other individuals. 
SCP-001 was initially contained by the Founding Overseer Council shortly following the establishment of the Foundation. Accessing File 3. RWX-2R-0001-1KB, January 1, 1970, SCP-001. A Press Withhold. Item Number, SCP-001. Object Class, Euclid. Threat Level, White. Special Containment Procedures Containment of SCP-001 is personally overseen by Overwatch. Description SCP-001 is comprised of SCP-0011, a human, and SCP-001A, a mechanical device. SCP-001A was constructed by SCP-0011. SCP-0011 is immortal and does not age. Although SCP-0011 can be physically damaged and will heal at an appropriate rate for a mundane human, its longevity enables it to recover from more severe injuries, if given sufficient time to do so. SCP-0011 vocally supports the containment and analysis of anomalous phenomena, and is largely compliant in its own containment. SCP-001A is capable of producing detailed predictions of all possible outcomes for an input event. As SCP-001A also considers the impact its predictions will have on the outcome of the event, it is assured that at least one outcome produced by SCP-001A will occur. Whenever SCP-0011 and or SCP-001A are involved with an event beyond exclusively providing predictions on its outcomes, SCP-001A will typically produce a significant number of blatantly incorrect predictions, based upon one of the following false factors. 1. That SCP-0011 was allegedly assassinated by a military group prior to containment, and as a result, SCP-001A was never constructed. Or 2. That along with its standard anomalous properties, SCP-0011 also exhibits SCP-001A's anomalous properties, and that SCP-001A was never constructed. Accessing File 4. RWX-2R-0001-1KB, January 1, 1970, SCP-001. Tindalo's Trinity. ID. Administrator. Password. Redacted. Maximum Clearance. High Command, Overseer Council, and Overwatch Eyes Only. It is the consensus agreement of High Command, HC, the Overseer Council, OC, and Overwatch, OW, that SCP-001, Delta, is a causal loop, focusing on the founder of the Foundation, at the time period the Foundation was established. As a result of SCP-001's anomalous influence, there are three distinct timelines generated from this point in time. The details of the timelines, as agreed upon by their respective High Command, Overseer Council, or Overwatch, is as follows. Timeline HC. SCP-001 conceived the notion of the Foundation by their own volition, but was assassinated by an unidentified military group, speculated to be an alternate rendition of Mobile Task Force Alp-0 originating from Timeline OC and or Timeline OW, before they could directly enact the establishment of the organization. This period corresponds to the initiation of SCP-001's anomalous properties in Timelines OC and OW. However, SCP-001 was successful in promoting sufficient interest in the endeavor prior to their demise, and further catalyzed by the clearly anomalous circumstances around their assassination, to prompt the original 13 members of High Command to do so in their stead. The now anomalous cadavers of SCP-001, another catalyst for High Command's actions, was successfully contained in the childhood home of SCP-001, one of the few exon buildings at the time that predated SCP-001, of which, at the time of writing, it exclusively remains, before the anomaly began duplicating. How the founding High Command knew to contain SCP-001 at this location, and why they avoided using the door, instead lowering the anomaly through a hole in the ceiling, is unknown. No documentation justifying the decision, if any existed, have been found. Being the first anomaly contained by the Foundation, it was designated SCP-001 following the official codification of the SCP designation. Timeline OC SCP-001 was in the process of establishing the Foundation alongside the members of the original Overseer Council when they began exhibiting anomalous properties, roughly corresponding to the point in time when Mobile Task Force Alp-0 intervened in timelines HC and OW. However, no evidence has been found indicating MTF Alp-0 has been present in timeline OC. Recognizing SCP-001 as a new anomalous phenomenon, the Founding Overseer Council immediately devised and enforced containment measures for SCP-001, cataloging it as their first contained anomaly. Timeline OW In Timeline OW, the Founder encounters an anachronistic military group self-identifying by the moniker Mobile Task Force Alp-0. This MTF presents the Founder with schematics for SCP-001A, OW, and assists in its construction, which is completed at the time SCP-001 is assassinated in Timeline HC, and gains properties in Timeline OS. 
Upon completion of this task, MTF Alp Zero departs. The founder establishes the modern foundation for the explicit purpose of studying SCP-001-A-OW, with the original Overwatch being their initial research group. Following the discovery of further anomalous phenomena that pose various threats to the founder, Overwatch and or their notion of normal society, the function of the foundation expanded to include the containment and research of these phenomena as well. Recognizing their abnormal lack of aging in comparison to the founding Overwatch, the founder voluntarily submitted themselves to containment and study. Following the discovery of SCP-001, Delta, the founder was redesignated as a component of SCP-001, OW. It is the consensus agreement of the leading committees that SCP-001 was discovered through the unintentional preservation of the Foundation database across all three timelines. It is currently unclear how this data preservation is occurring, but is confirmed to be instantaneous relative to each timeline's analog of the creation date. A file created on January 1, 2018 at 8 p.m. in Timeline HC will simultaneously appear in the database present in Timeline OC and Timeline OW on January 1, 2018 at 8 p.m. Cooperation between the leading committees of each respective timeline has led to the conclusion that the majority of recorded anomalous phenomena present in the shared database only exist within one timeline. Only 17 anomalies have been confirmed to exist across all three timelines. Considering the presence of Mobile Task Force Alt-0 in both Timeline HC and Timeline OW, the consensus belief is that SCP-001, Delta, is preserved through unclear future events that prompt the leading committees of the Foundations to dispatch this MTF at a future date, with the intent of altering the circumstances of the Foundation's conception, creating the next successive timeline. The order of timelines is unknown, but deemed irrelevant. As evidenced by SCP-001's HC inability to escape its containment chamber, it is agreed that MTF Alp-0 will be dispatched prior to the destruction of the containment chamber. It is believed that, as Timeline HC will be overwritten by either Timeline OC or Timeline OW as a result of this, this will result in the immediate cessation of Timeline HC and the loss of all contents. Further extrapolation based upon the fact that similar events occur at similar times across all three timelines strongly suggests Timeline OC and Timeline OW will also terminate at that time. As a result, it is the unanimous agreement of the leading committees that SCP-001, Delta, must be neutralized to prevent the cessation of one or all three timelines and the resultant loss of the Foundation and humanity. Questioning of SCP-001, OC, by the Overseer Council has revealed that the device they intend to construct specifically executes this purpose. Cooperation between the Overseer Council and Overwatch has confirmed that SCP-001-A, OW, is similar to the device intended for construction by SCP-001, OC. Analysis of SCP-001-A, OW, has failed to confirm how the device would be, or is, capable of neutralizing SCP-001, Delta, however SCP-0011, OW, has similarly confirmed the device is capable of performing this task, but has failed to provide further clarification. Because of the various SCP-001's assumed desire to construct this device, and their otherwise apparent fundamental relation to SCP-001, Delta, it is the consensus belief of the leading committees that the completion of this device across all three timelines will result in the neutralization of SCP-001, Delta, or at minimum, enable more viable containment of SCP-001 in timelines HC and OC through minimization or neutralization of their anomalous properties. As such, the leading committees of each timeline have agreed to complete the following. High Command will receive the schematics of SCP-001-A, OW, and construct it, activating it as soon as able. The Overseer Council will voluntarily release SCP-001, OC, from containment, providing them with the required resources to construct SCP-001-A. Overwatch will provide schematics for SCP-001-A, OW, to High Command and the Overseer Council. No other actions are required, as their device is already complete. The leading committees will cooperate to maximize the probability of this file, along with as much of the main Foundation database as possible, surviving into the ensuing timeline produced by SCP-001's Delta neutralization, for the explicit purpose of detailing SCP-001 Delta and its neutralization to ensure the anomaly does not reform. This document written and signed by unanimous agreement of the leading committees of the Foundation. High Command. 1 through 12. Overseer Council. 1 through 12. Overwatch. Overseer 1 through Overseer 13. Save. Item number. SCP-001-D. Object Class. Decommissioned. Site Responsibility. Not Available. Director. Not Available. Research Head. Not Available. Assigned Task Force. 
Not available. Special Containment Procedures. None. Description. SCP-001-D, formerly designated as SCP-001, Delta, allegedly was a causal loop that resulted in the cyclic recreation of three similar but distinct timelines. These timelines diverged at the time of the Foundation's establishment, under three distinct circumstances. 1. The Founder becomes an anomaly during the process of establishing the Foundation. The Founding Overseer Council, an analogue of the O5 Council, contained it as an SCP-001, as per the Founder's original wishes. 2. An anachronistic mobile task force, ALP-0, believed to originate from the terminus of one of the timelines, provides the founder with the schematics for an anomalous device, and assists them in constructing it. The foundation is established expressly to study this device, beginning with the founding overwatch, an analogue of the O5 Council. The founder is later recognized to be anomalous, and willingly submits to containment as an SCP-001. 3. An anachronistic military force, believed to be MTF Alp Zero or an alternate rendition of such, assassinates the founder. The founding high command, an analog of the O5 Council, completes the establishment of the foundation in their absence, and contains the anomalous corpse of the founder as an SCP-001. In all cases, SCP-001-D was discovered through the preservation of files within the main foundation database across all timelines, purportedly enabled through standard anomalous protection countermeasures. It is noteworthy that SCP-001-D was discovered by the current or remaining timelines foundation when several corrupted files were discovered throughout the main database. SCP-001-D was reportedly decommissioned through a joint effort between the Overseer Council, Overwatch and Hyde Command. Information recovered from the surviving files strongly suggests, however, that the decommissioning of SCP-001-D has resulted in a timeline drastically less viable than its predecessors, as the entirety of the SCP catalog of which all but 17 only existed in one of the three timelines produced by SCP-001-D, have been forced to coexist within the same timeline. As evidenced by rampant containment failures, the loss of numerous critical sites and areas, and ongoing underfunding despite assistance through the Bowen Mulhausen commissions, it is infeasible for any singular foundation to function effectively under such conditions. Furthermore, the ongoing ZK class rat's nest scenario proves that no singular timeline is capable of supporting the coexistence of numerous anomalies with conflicting properties. SCP 001D has been marked as a point of investigation for Project LIF. In the event the Lifficer protocol is initiated, the conditions under which SCP-001-D was neutralized as detailed from surviving files, is to be replicated with the inclusion of SCP-14089, SCP-24601, and SCP-55555, in the hope doing so will result in the production of a more viable timeline.